Okay, I've already tried to film this video once and I just do feel like it didn't come across the way I wanted. Um, also, unflattering angles on my double chin will just be out and about the whole time. Um, that's all I can really do about it is nothing because, yeah, the mount is just keeps falling. So, um, anyway, so ignore my double chin the whole time. Thanks. Okay. Um, anyway, so getting into what we're going to talk about today, um, is a lot of my people that watch me probably know I, um, I was engaged to be married this year. No, I mean, I was going to get married this year, uh, the year that we're in. Um, I am no longer, um, engaged. I'm not getting married anymore. Um, and I kind of just didn't talk about it. And I don't really owe it to anyone, but, um, yeah, I am no longer getting married. So, I guess I'll kind of get into it a little bit, but I'm not giving any details or, you know, exposing too much because it's, at the end of the day, I was going to marry that person. So, I clearly loved them, you know, and, uh, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to, you know, destroy a person over it. Um, but anyways, so pretty much what happened was it was around Christmas time. So it's been a few months and I'm finally starting to really recover from everything and whatnot. But, um, pretty much, um, one day we went to, uh, dinner with some of my family and, uh, she left in the middle of it, which was really weird. Um, but I just, she told me it was work and stuff like that. So I just believed her. And, um, then I came home and some other things had happened before that, but I'm not going to include that because it's not, it's not that important to this. Um, but I came home and stuff had happened that I wasn't happy about. So, um, I asked her certain questions and whatnot. And then out of nowhere, she was like, but I do have something to tell you. And I was like, okay, great. You're just going to confirm what I was already wondering. Um, but then she was like, I'm not happy with you anymore. And I don't want to be with you. And I don't feel the same way. And so in that moment, um, I just looked at her and I was really fighting back, back the tears in that moment. And I looked at her and I said, okay, then I'm done. And, uh, we had a two bedroom apartment. So I, one room was my beauty room. So, um, I instantly moved in there. Um, and I called my mom and I called my brother and I was just a wreck. I was an absolute wreck and I was for weeks after that. Um, I stayed there for three weeks afterwards because I worked there. I no longer do work in that city and it makes me super sad, but um, I lived there and we just coexisted. And coexisting with someone that you love so much. At that time, I still loved her. Um, I don't anymore and people may think that's bullshit but I, I don't um but anyways uh I still loved her and it was really hard because I didn't know what was happening and I don't know I didn't know why things happened um so that was hard and I would cry all the time um and I would go to work every single day I never missed a day of work for it um because my co-workers were really great um but it was super hard and then I would just come home because I didn't want to talk to anyone. And I, but then I would just be there coexisting or, you know, wondering what she was possibly off doing and um, stuff like this. And, and this was in the very beginning. And, but then uh, eventually my mom and I decided that my best option would be to move home for a little bit because I was a mess. I was a real mess um, living in the same apartment as her, um, 
living in the same space was really, really, really hard. And, um, yeah. So that was super hard for me. Um, and I would call my mom and my grandma all the time just crying and being like, I can't do this. This isn't right. This isn't, this isn't how someone should live. They shouldn't live with, you know, it was toxic. It was toxic for sure. Um, which looking back, the whole relationship was really toxic and was really not good. But I ignored a lot of red, red flags and stuff, so. But anyway, so I moved home and I have been adjusting to that. I left a job I really love. I do own my own business, so I still have that and so I'm fine as far as that goes. But um, yeah, I really loved the people I worked with. I really loved living in the city. Um, so that all changed for me really fast. And so that sent me into a huge depression which I'm still in, but I think I'm digging my way out finally. Um, but yeah, I've just, it's not even important, but when someone lies to you every single day and nothing is real and it was real to you, um, you kind of lose yourself in that, I guess. And I kind of really lost myself in that. <clears throat> and, uh, I don't know who I am anymore. Um, I don't find things enjoyable like I used to, and I've always had depression and stuff, but this is a, this is different for sure. Um, I don't know who I am. I don't feel good about myself. Um, there was really, the intimacy wasn't there, and I don't even just mean sex. I mean, like, literally, we didn't kiss, we didn't hug, we didn't, you know, um, hold hands we were just not the same anymore and I knew something was wrong um so it wasn't I mean it was a shock for sure but it was I knew something was off and I knew something wasn't right so um but when that happens and the person that you're in love with and gonna marry doesn't want to hold your hand she doesn't want to kiss you she doesn't want to hug you anymore you just I can't even look at myself anymore and it's it's sad to say but like I just don't know who I am and I don't know why why I wasn't good enough or I wasn't enough and I know that's stupid to say because like it's really not my fault it's just what happened um but that's how you feel and I'm not gonna act like it's not but um yeah, it's just a, it's a horrible feeling not to know who you are anymore and not to have any confidence is horrible. I have zero confidence, um, zero, <laughs> which is, it's really hard. I don't find joy in anything anymore. I, the last few days in like maybe a week even, I've started to really get back to me a little bit, like little pieces at a time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's so just horrible to like when everything was real with you but it wasn't real with the other person that's what I can't get over is um and I am getting over it but like that's what really bothers me is like I was real the whole time and I was lied to the whole time you know I don't know why someone would ask someone to marry them if they knew that that wasn't the person that they wanted to be with and why would you let me get my dress and why would you let me do all of the things and I don't know that's what's I really always wanted it to be really special when I did all of those first things and it, it first of all wasn't because now looking back I know that I just know a lot more and everything makes sense now why it wasn't fun planning my wedding and it wasn't fun getting things around and it, it just wasn't fun and it wasn't good um and now it makes sense 
but um yeah so I'm just pretty much end of story I'm just trying to um find myself again and be happy again and I'm a little tiny bit like it's been struggling not so much with like losing the person that I lost because at the end of the day I'm happy I didn't marry that person and I'm happy that I found out about all the the lies and everything before I walked down the aisle with someone um and I feel happier without her which I would say about a week after maybe two weeks after I started to feel so good without her and I was feeling so much better without her but that doesn't mean that it didn't hurt anymore and it doesn't mean that it made it easier to realize that everything she fucking said was a lie that doesn't make it easier you know the feelings were a lie for her and everything was a lie for her and spending our lives together was a fucking lie for her but it was real for me so that fucking hurt but um just realizing all these lies and like still I look back and I'm like okay that was a fucking lie and that makes sense now because that was a lie and that was a lie and everything was a lie um things were just lies everything was lie and uh I was in love with someone and I cared about someone and I was gonna marry someone but they did not feel that back they acted like they did and that is how it went um so I'm more I'm more I don't really I don't actually miss the person because now I see who they are and it makes me absolutely sick absolutely sick that I was ever with someone like that um I miss more that I was gonna have a family finally and you know kids were finally almost in my future and um you know I'm 27 years old I'm not young oh well, I mean I'm young but you know um I thought things were coming together but now I realize that they're coming together in a different way I'm doing so much better I'm you know healthier now I'm losing a lot of weight I'm improving myself um I'm still super low in confidence because uh, there were so many things that happened that just destroyed destroyed me like my confidence and um just how I feel in general um so I'm trying to get me back I don't know where the fuck she went and how to get her back but um I miss her I miss um feeling okay and feeling good and I'm starting to feel okay again um so hopefully I'll start to feel like better even um but yeah I miss who I was and I miss um that but I think I'll come back even better and I'm already doing better and I do see that my life is better without this person and without you know being with this person in that's something that is really important to to know um is that i don't know that you can get over it and that you know you might not trust anyone for a really long time and you might not feel okay for some some time but um now i'm just coming to terms with the fact that everything was a, a lie everything was a lie and that is so irritating because i i don't like to lie um i don't do it uh of course i do it once in a great while just like out of habit or not out of habit but like on accident or like lie about something stupid but uh everything was a big lie from her and i was always so just honest and i'm not saying i was perfect by any means because i wasn't um I'm not a perfect partner and I know that, um, but I deserved a whole hell of a lot more than this, a lot more than this, and, uh, I, th I know she knows that too, um, but I would, I would never be with her 
or someone like that again. I can't, I can't do that to myself. Um, of course, I didn't know she was a li liar and things like that, but there was other things that happened that were just not cool. Um, so I can't let myself be treated any way that I don't deserve or anything. So, um, but yeah, I'm getting through it. Um, I have a lot of different coping ways, like, I have a lot of ways of coping and, um, not all of them are great, but, uh, I'm getting through it and I'm super happy. Um, I'm starting to be super happy where I see, I don't see the life where I was getting married and have kids anymore, but, um, I see a, a beautiful life ahead still and, uh, on my own doing my thing. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It was just like a little bit of a shock, if you uh, get what I'm saying, just to come home and be like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, anyways. Uh, so I hope that if you've ever been through something like this, maybe me helping or talking helps, helps in, or something, or makes you feel like you weren't alone because I know I felt really alone and I still do. Um, it's a very weird thing to go through to have everything a relationship just be not true on one person's part so um anyways that's all I'm really gonna say like I said there's a ton of bad things and things that happen that I'm not gonna get into because uh like I said I did love this person and uh anyone that had my love I would not tear apart um and this is not what that this video was at all I didn't tear her apart at all um, I was very honest, but I also left out a lot of things that would tear her apart. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, sorry that it was such a weird video, but, uh, it is what it is. So talk to you guys later.